Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. I'm your hostess, Laurel Gray, and today is a really, really awesome episode. Essentially, we're talking all about how to get started with Divi, which is one of the top WordPress themes that are available on the market at the moment. In this episode, I'm actually going to show you how to set up your entire website. That's right. We're aiming for 30 minutes here, and we're going to try and set up your entire website in that time using the Divi theme. So you've got to really be ready. If you've already got Divi installed on your computer, please make sure that you've got it open and ready to go. All right, here's what we're going to cover on today's episode. What is Divi and why you should consider using it in your business? Best practice for installing a theme onto WordPress. Navigating the Divi theme options. Using the Divi theme customizer to make your website look amazing. Using the Divi builder for the first time. Now it's a brand new builder, so I'm going to show you all how, about how to use it. Publishing your landing page. Sizing your graphics so that they look amazing on your site. Ensuring that you have the basic plugins that you need already installed onto your site for launch. And of course, then launching your site to the world and what that entails. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, first of all, what is Divi and why should you consider using it in your business? Essentially, all businesses need to have a website or some kind of online presence. And as a business owner, you might even be running multiple websites for your business. Now, we all know that WordPress is the leading platform for creating, duplicating, and launching websites all across the internet, regardless of what kind of business you have. So you could either be a service-based business or have some kind of retail operation online, and you can still use WordPress as the core platform. Now, as you're going to find out, launching a WordPress website is incredibly easy. Adding Divi on top of your website as your theme is also incredibly easy to do, and I'm gonna walk you through that process right now. Before I do, I'll actually jump onto the Divi landing page and show you what some of the cool features are, and we'll talk a little bit more about why you might choose this theme over others for your business. So let's go on the computer and we'll find out more. All I'm doing here is I'm navigating um, to a, a new browser tab, and I'm just typing in Divi theme. That's all really that you need to do. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. And we can see here that Divi is a theme created by a company called Elegant Themes. And what we'll do here is we'll just click on the top one. We won't click on their ads. We'll be nice. And it takes us to a landing page. It says here, Divi 3.0 and the all-new Visual Builder has arrived. That's right. And that's exactly why I'm doing this demo for you guys. Is because it used to be that, um, and on most WordPress websites as well, you actually make edits in the back end of the website within WordPress. The Divi Ultimate WordPress Theme and Visual Page Builder means that you make changes in the front end of the website rather than in the back end. And they've got a great video here on the home page showing you how that works. As we scroll down, you can see it says here, build anything visually. So rather than going into the WordPress back end and using one of the builders that's built in there, or perhaps using complex short codes or coding, you can build your entire website in the front end, meaning you can see more or less what the end product is going to look like without having to worry about toggling back and forth between the back end and the front end of the site. And as it says here, you can customize everything, literally everything. All you've got to do is click and type. The editing is responsive. You still can create multiple columns on your website if you want to. There are even up to 46 content elements, which we're going to go through in more detail later, which allow you to completely customize your site and make it look incredibly professional within really the span of about 30 minutes. So they've taken a lot of time to develop all of this out, and I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can have a look on the landing page, so elegantthemes.com forward slash gallery forward slash divi where they walk you through all of the different elements that you can get on the website itself. So do have a little look and a play here. The most important thing that I want to note here is with Divi, it's basically the most popular WordPress theme that's on the market at the moment. 
So with that, it means that you get also the most amount of support, not just from the company, which is Elegant Themes, but also from individual users who have gone out and created their own custom content on either YouTube, um, on Vimeo, for example, so that you can actually have the best training that's available anywhere. So we're always recommending here on Teach Me Tech the top tools that are in the marketplace, and definitely Divi is one of them. I'm not going to cover off on every single edition uh, that they've got here on the landing page. Uh, we'll cover more off on that later. But do make sure that you have a look at some of the examples that they give. Now, the pricing for Divi is included in, in within all of the other themes that Elegant Themes offers, as well as some additional plugins that they, that they have. So do go in and have a look. And I'll just toggle back to the computer for a moment. Um, have a look. It says join to download. If you want to buy all 87 of the themes, it's $69 per year. I think that they also have got a lifetime access package here. So for 250 bucks, you get access to all of the themes, all of the updates and everything. And you might just want to do that if you're a business owner. Now, if you've already got a web developer that you're working with and they're recommending Divi, chances are they already have got a lifetime access membership and they can allow you to use that. All right, so let's hop on the computer and let me just show you how I'm gonna install Divi and we'll get going with the customization straight away. All right, so I'm just gonna go here and add a new site. Just call it teachmetech.getdigitalflow.com. Now this is just for demonstration purposes today and I'm using a scalable WordPress platform that allows me to add new instances or sites on WordPress very quickly. Um, and I'm just going to say admin at demo.company here. I'm going to add a site. Now, because of the technology that I'm using, I'm able to add a website very, very quickly. Check with your existing web developer or your hosting provider about how to add a new WordPress instance to your own existing plan. What we'll do from here is just visit the dashboard. And we see here that we've got a back end that looks exactly like a, a traditional WordPress site, and that's because Divi doesn't actually change the way that the WordPress site looks and feels. It's going to be, if you're using other themes, for example, it's going to look exactly the same. And we'll just go underneath here, appearance, and then themes in the back end. And we'll see that I've got Divi 3.0.6, which is the current um, updated version. I'm sure it's probably going to change tomorrow. And I'm going to click activate here. Now, on this note, um, I just want to touch on um, not only the best practice for installing a theme, um, but also child themes. So what you notice on the computer before is that I've installed the actual Divi theme onto my site. I've also got what's called a child theme there. Um, now, for a technical reason, I'm not installing the uh, child theme at the moment, just for demonstration purposes today. Um, but what you would want to do is check with your developer or someone technical around you to get a child theme installed. And that just means when all of your plugins are updated and your theme updates, that all of the settings that we create uh, with your website will be updated at the same time. So it's, it's basically like you have the master Divi theme, and then you have what's called a child theme, which retains all of that information for you. So it is best practice to consider that whenever you're setting up a new instance. If you decide not to do that, it doesn't mean that your website's not going to work. Because Divi is updated so frequently, you shouldn't run into any issues. All you've got to do is just install Divi on your website, click activate, and then you're ready to go. All right, let's hop back on the computer, and I'll show you a couple of other basic things that you need to do to get started. So now that I've got my theme activated, what we can do here is click Customize, and I'm just going to open it up in, um, in a window here. Oh, it didn't open it up in a new tab. Now, in order to get your main page here to turn up as the page you want, um, you see it says Hello World. It's going to come up with a bunch of random posts. What we want to do underneath the customized um, theme options, which we'll go more into later, is click on Static Front Page. And instead of saying your latest posts, we're going to pick a static page and select sample page. Now, we'll change sample page to something more relevant shortly, but we'll just click Save and Publish for the time being. And then we'll use our sample page as our home page for our website. I know a lot of people struggle with this when they're first setting up Divi. So I'm just going to close out of that. And you'll notice here that everything else is pretty much set up correctly. All you'll want to do if you're getting going is you'll want to customize underneath settings general settings. The first thing to do is just select your time zone. So I'm going to select Sydney. 
and then click to continue enjoying this presentation download Bryn the world's first business advisor in your pocket to find out more visit Bryn.ai or search the app store today